Thank you very much. I'm really excited to be here. I'm in the movement for three years now. I started working at Wikimedia Germany in 2020 when the pandemic hit the world. So I don't know anybody in person yet. So I'm really excited to be here. And I think it fits well what I talk about to what Daria just uh, told us because we we commissioned a study, I will talk to challenging a digital learning platform, and we don't do that just because we do it, but because we, as Wikimedia Germany, want to challenge uh, political reforms and projects with the aim to, to make them like more democratic, more participation. So, um, we at Wikimedia Germany, we have a, a little unique, within the movement, unique uh, approach on education because we mainly do advocacy and uh, policy work towards open education in at least in my team the education team so it's not so much about educational programs but more about uh, um, approaching decision makers and politic politician and we can do that at least in germany because we're kind of a unicorn um, because on the one hand side, we are a rather large civil society organization, and at the same time, we are also developing software as Wikidata and so on. So we do know what we're talking about, and we can use it as an argument. And we decided to take on this role as like software developer and a civil society organization to use this for our political and advocacy work. So we took on, or we want to take on, the role as a civil society corrective um, for digital education policy in order to influence education policy decisions that are made by a German government, such as software development, the architecture of development, the government, governments of kind of platforms, and of course, being Wikimedia, we work towards the primacy of openness in all those educational uh, yeah, projects. And right now we do have a rather big infrastructure project in Germany that is called the National Education Platform. The German government uh, announced this project in 21 and the aim of this national education platform is to create a comprehensive digital learning infrastructure. So the national education platform is intended to become a, a central hub for, um, yeah, no, it's become a networking infrastructure to bundle different digital education offerings. The platform is supposed to serve as a central hub where education stakeholders, such as schools, teachers, students, parents, lifelong learners, can access a variety of educational content, resources, and tools. And if this project really works, and is supposed to work, according to the government, we would have like this really big infrastructure that will shape the landscape of education in Germany for the next decade. Also, so the, we think as Wikimedia that the civil society should ha take part in a discussion about how this platform should look like and how it should be designed and worked and governed. And this discussion didn't take place, so we took on the role to discuss this uh, platform as a so civil society actor. So we were, our work was led by two basic assumptions. And the first assumption would be that infrastructure is always political. But like a government in Germany would say, and that's really specific to Germany, but they say, no, infrastructure is neutral. Because it's just like you are just building a street. But if you think about a street, a street is not neutral by itself. It needs rules. It needs kind of negotiation of who is allowed actually to be on the road, who needs to be off the road. So it is not neutral. It is a political decision of um, what 
you want to have rules for. So this was our basic assumption that infrastructure is political and hence designing an educational platform needs a discourse about how education and learning shall be conceptualized and what understanding of education and learning a democratic society has and how this should then shape the platform. But this discourse hasn't happened yet. The second assumption which led us was that public money sh sh should be public good. And this national education platform is a really huge infrastructure program. It is funded with 630 million euros funding from the EU. So it's a lot of money. Uh, so we wanted to critically accompany this infrastructure project and work towards ensuring that openness and knowledge equity become part of all the design principles of the platform and are not discussed downstream because we assume that it is a public good so it should be freely accessible open uh, and as open as possible. So we needed good arguments to take part in this discussion. Sorry, this is uh, not a nice um, because it's in German, I put it in English. Um, so we wanted to shape the discourse as Wikimedia um, Germany or initiate a discourse about this platform. And we wanted to link between the pedagogical values and ideas that are within the design of a platform implicitly or explicitly and the technical decisions. So we, uh, we commissioned um, a study on the national education platform and its outlines to an interdisciplinary team of software developers, platform theorists and educational researchers. And the, um, like the research, research question was which fundamental understanding of education and learning underlies the national education platform envisioned by the federal government because we couldn't find any outlines about what kind of learning and what kind of education does the government want to promote in the 21st century because they didn't think about the pedagogic, but there, is, uh, there are always values. So what we found, and this is only a really brief summary, um, is uh, our head of study, Michael Seemann, uh, summarized the foundings, the implementation of the platform as it is conceptualized by now will lead to a cementing of a very narrow and instrumental understanding of education and learning. And this will have um, influence far beyond the national education platform. Uh, and the second found, finding is that there weren't or, uh, any governance processes conceptualized until the first versions of it. So there was no idea of who will take responsibility um, as soon as the government and the funding runs out. What's about sustainability but, and responsibility? There aren't any concepts of governance yet, although as we uh, have our assumption, it's quite political, so there should be governance structures thought. So the study um, for, um, outlined a framework for a realignment of the platform, which are oriented towards our Wikimedia goals and core values. So um, we would argue that a national education platform must be oriented towards a common good oriented, inclusive and democratic education, that it should have a broad idea of learning and education that thinks process-oriented uh, process -oriented support of learning and education, not only like, okay, what kind of certificate do I get, but how do we work together, construct learning? There should be governance structures that are participatory um, and well, public welfare oriented and take into consideration civil society voices and a variety of stakeholders who should use the platform. It needs the primacy of openness like open code, open source, open educational resources. And we have to think about how the 
you, how data is used, who belongs the data that people put into the platform, but also like what is done with the data that is generated by using it. So like a data commons. And it needs to evaluate risks and safety. So these were our recommendations according to this study. So what we could do with the study was to initiate a discourse and discussion and offer an alternative narrative, oh, sorry, alternative narrative with a more holistic view that combines technical, political and educational perspectives. And we could lay a basis for argumentation to initiate change and shape the political discourse about this huge infrastructure, uh, infrastructure project. And of course, it's not easy to actually have impact with a study, but we could achieve some changes and our voices were heard. With the publication of the platform in November 22, we had a panel discussion, which was kind of high level because the chairperson of the Social Democratic Party of Germany, which is right now within the government, attended the, the discussion, as well as the head of department of the Ministry of Education. So they were kind of forced to read uh, our study and to take into consideration what we recommended with the study. We had more than 1,500 downloads on Wikimedia Commons, and our study was widely discussed in di different educational congresses. The, um, uh, one of the parties of the parliament, Die Linke, they commissioned, uh, it's called minor question, it's a way of uh, parliamentarians can question the government on certain projects, though the Linke did that and the federal government had to um, answer. That was based on our study. Uh, and only in April 23, the project team for the National Education Platform had a survey run on governance structures and what governance structures are needed for the National Education Platform. So actually we could shape the, the discourse on the National Education Platform. So why does, does that work? I think the most important thing is, and that's where I come back to Wikimedia, actually, what it does it. I mean, we do have, a, we stand on the shoulders of a giant Wikipedia and the Wikimedia projects because we are only credible and trustworthy because as Wikimedia Germany or the Wikimedia movement, our work is based on the values of Wikimedia principles and Wikipedia, on community, on participation, on knowledge equity, and that's why um, people trust and believe us. We try to take on the role as a critical friend. So it, we are critical towards um, this large scale infrastructure program, but at the same time, we really uh, think it's a great thing that the governance put money into public infrastructure programs. I think we need more of them, but we need as civil society to be part of those projects and it's, uh, it's kind of important to negotiate about values and principles of those big public infrastructure programs. And we were able to then fill in a void because there weren't any people or the education policy discourse was lacking a voice for public good oriented education digital policies. So we were able to fill this gap. And what it needs is a long breath. Wikimedia Germany is doing policy advocacy work on open education and free knowledge for more than 10 years now. And there is progress, but it's kind of step by step progress. So it needs a long breath and lots of um, yeah, trusting relationship. So uh, with the national education platform, we are still at the beginning of a journey. Um, um, we were talking like the study was based on the um, conceptions. And right now they are the first steps of development. So there will be a better version of the national education platform in autumn. 
And we, as Wikimedia Germany, we try to accompany this uh, development, and we are right now implementing a series, an uh, impulse series, um, where we invite Wikimedia experts from Wikimedia, civil society, and academia to discuss certain subjects that are linked to the national education platform, said such as like how uh, sustainable or are those kind of large-scale projects, what does sustainability mean in this contest about finance, um, what, um, yeah, what kind of uh, future do we envision for education in Germany, and how about the data commons, so that are kind of uh, issues we want to tackle while the government is, part, uh, is developing this uh, national education platform. And what we also aim to is that we will be part of a governance structure, however that will look like. So that was an example. Thank you very much. There's a little time for questions. We do have time for questions, if you have them. If not, then thank you. Thank we you. can continue talking. Okay. Sorry. So uh, it's really exciting to see like the work that I mean Wikimedia UK or Wikimedia Germany is doing, and that also like got me thinking about like um, you know it's only like a space like this where we are hearing about the work. And I'm just curious because like you are all like big affiliates, you know, in the movement. And there has been like challenge of like this knowledge sharing and like, you know, because this, this is all happening in a background and not like people who are not part of this conference are still not aware of like, you know, how can they include or involve their governments in terms of like advocacy because it's a different kind of a work. Like I always cite this uh, Wikimedia Germany's work because their work for education is always about like advocacy. but. You know, we also have to like think of a platform or like think of a space where we can like share it with others. So just like want to hear like, you know, if we have any plans or if we could do something around it. Uh, and the question is both for like Daria and Heike. Uh, I think, uh, uh, my not working, is it? Yeah. Wow. Okay, uh, my deep blog about this uh, research is uh, published uh, next week. <laughs> so, yeah, there will be a diplog. But I don't know, it's a good question because uh, I did a similar talk at Wikimania last year. It's not just here. Um, but yeah, I guess there's always knowledge management so problem. I will share there. How about, how about you? <laughs> yeah. If you want, you can get up uh, so the camera. Ah, okay. Sorry. See you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know that's really a difficult question because I come from a yeah, big uh, chapter and still we are only three people working on education. So we, and it's in German, so it's effort we have to put into to make it available to the movement and that's why I'm here to, to get to know and better understand how the movement works because in a way I'm still a newbie but I see that we, and that's why I'm here to learn how, what can the role of Wikimedia Germany be within this, if we focus on advocacy and poli policy work, how can we bring this to the uh, movement? But I don't have any answers yet, but it's, uh, yeah, we're working on it. Thank you, Salis, for asking. Hi, I would like to ask one more, it's more practical. Is the platform this Wir Lernen online or is another one? The, the name of the platform you were talking about, is it the Wir Lernen online or it's a different one, yeah. but that's as well a project you've been part of, right? Yeah. The... <laughs> um, yeah, we were part of uh, Wir Lernen Online, which was also funded by the federal government by, uh, at the beginning 2020. And the, um, the new platform, uh, na the national education platform, like the content of Wir Lernen Online will be accessible via the national education platform. And right now we are not part of the Wir Lernen online platform anymore. It's now done by EduSharing, edu which they do the kind of operation work. Thank you. I just want to reply you maybe immediately now because I've been using your example with Learning Online 
as an example to advocate for open educational resources in our country, saying, I'm from Czech Republic, saying, hey, our neighbors as a Wikimedia are participating in a platforms which are not necessarily about them and about the pro product of Wikimedia, but about something which goes beyond. But that's the visibility and that's the understanding. So, so for me, what you do is, is helping me and as well, that was the same with the open dot uh, Switzerland uh, uh, platform. So I could show an examples that in other countries around us, this is somehow functioning and we could be part of something bigger. So, so I don't know if that helps you, but, but I've been observing what you are doing and I've been using it in my own work as, as advocating for it. Uh, thank you, it really helps me because we were challenged by our own organization being part of Via Learn Online because Via Learn Online is a platform where you can get free content, educational content, but it was not exclusively open educational resources. So that was a problem because as a Verein, we are, we are aimed to do a, like really only open educational resources. So that was a challenge within Wikimedia Germany. So it's good to hear that still it's used as an example in the Wikimedia movement, because I think it's better to be part of something which is not like pure, but at least we get open educational resources out into the world. Thank you. Thank you very much.